Okay, so the next feature that we are going to add into our application is going to be maps and markers. So if I look at my detail page right here, we have a section or a gray rectangle right now. And this is going to display a map of the location of the world wonder that we selected. Now maps, if we look at Bravo's master list here under the component section at the very bottom, there is a maps with marker and you can go ahead and see the documentations here and you can read through this if you want to find out a little bit more information. But we are going to be using the component map and we are going to make it interactive. Uh, interactive allows the person to go ahead, the user to zoom in and out and move the map around in the application and then it will just have the marker of the location that we put down. If you don't want them to be able to interact or move with the map, you can just take the interactive part out of the tag. So this bottom one right here, but we're going to make it interactive and we're going to use the top one up here. So in our application, you want to make sure that you have a rectangle and that rectangle is within a container frame, just like this. Our rectangle here is maps. And then we are going to add the component map and the interactive feature in here. Now we're not going to add a latitude or longitude to this rectangle right here. Now, if we look at the map documentation, if you want to just show a specific location for a map, say you are creating a app for a restaurant and the map only needs to show the location of the restaurant, you can go ahead and manually put in the latitude and longitude directly into the Bravo tag. But because we have different locations and road wonders from our bucket list, this map here is going to have to be generated with different latitudes and longitudes depending on the road wonder we select. So we're not going to set a latitude or longitude on it right now. We are going to be pulling that information from our Airtable base. So again, it's really easy to set it up in Figma. We just need a rectangle within a container and add that component map tag to that rectangle. So when we come over to our Bravo app here, we're gonna to go to the detail page. We're gonna connect in the map frame, our map rectangle here, and we are gonna set the latitude and longitude right here on the right. So the longitude I am getting from our air table base of our different road wonders here. I have latitudes and longitudes of these different road wonders. And back here, I'm. All I'm gonna do is get it from that bucket list app. I'm gonna get the detailed information because I want the specific detail of the road wonder we selected. And under, long, under longitude, we're gonna select longitude. Under latitude, we're gonna select latitude. And that is going to load up the location with a map and a marker. And again, we made it interactive. So we'll be able to scroll in uh, we'll be able to scroll around, move the map, the marker will stay at the location, but we can zoom in and out and interact with the map. And that's all you need to do in order to add a interactive map or a map into your application. You can get different latitudes and longitudes from your database or like I said earlier, if you just need a one set location for a map and you only have one map that you're gonna need in your app, like a location of a business, you can just manually put in the latitude and longitude directly into the Bravo tag in your Figma file. All right, the next feature we're gonna implement is allowing location of your device. So what we're gonna be able to do is take the actual location of our device and load that up into a map in our application as well. 